It yeah. reminds me of I made my when I made my mom cry watching a movie. We went to see I Am Legend mm -hmm. together, yeah. when, and it was right when my dog Shaq died. <laughs> Shaquille, Reggie, Pongo, Brooks, O'Neal, Gillis. What up? <laughs> R.I.P. And uh, I wanted to name him Pongo when I was a kid. It's a good name. Pongo is a great name for Shaq love, is a sick name. Shaq's for a great name. Yeah. but Pongo. Where'd you get I, Pongo from? It was 101 Dalmatians. That's a good, that's a good yeah, name. Yeah, Pongo. That. Yeah. I used to love 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> but uh, that was like the first time I swore, too. I remember it. I remember where I was, too. Were you cursed during 101 Dalmatians? No, I wanted to name Shaq 100. I wanted to name him Pongo. Yeah. And the whole family, we, we were in the van. Of course. And everybody agreed Shaq. <laughs> and my dad, somebody wanted Reggie Brooks, which is hilarious. To name a dog, Red. He was a running back at Notre Dame. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Name. Fucking Reggie Brooks. That's a. That's but awesome. uh, I remember I got out when I didn't get my way. I was like crying, and I stood in the doorway of the garage, and everyone was still getting out of the car. And I turned around, and I said, "Fucking Shaq's an asshole name." <laughs> <laughs> and ran in and cried. <laughs> I said, "Shaq's an asshole name." But uh, we were watching I Am Legend, and she so got some payback. Years later, this is Shaq was old. It was sixteen years later, sixteen years later, we put Shaq down and we're sitting there. And I was sitting next to my mom, and it was at the scene where Will Smith's killing his dog. Mm -hmm. And my mom loved Shaq, and my mom Shaq fucking loved my mom. Really, he was the only person he liked. Oh my god, only person he listened to and liked. And then he, she put him down earlier that week. Mm -hmm. We went out to see a movie, and while he was killing his German Shepherd in the movie, I was just like. I just leaned over to my mom and I was like, this is like you and Shaq. Uh. <laughs> I, watched, I did the same thing. I just watched her heartbreak and she just, she was like, that was really mean. <laughs> and started crying. I was like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> did you guys make up? Yeah, we made up. Yeah, I know you guys are beefing. Oh, no. I haven't talked to her since we were beefing. What? You haven't called her back? I should probably call her. Call your mom. Well, that's because she does the, she does the mom thing. And that's what made me think of it too. It was like, whenever you say something mean to her, she's like, that was really me. Oh, I couldn't do. Just starts crying. I'm like, "Fuck, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. You're right." Yeah, we're gonna debut our fir first full length through there. Wow! That's fucking so sick, yesterday dude. your fucking dog died. My dog died, and you got signed to a record. Dude, it was Damn. very, very weird because um, because I, I was really excited because yeah. uh, we were gonna like announce the signing within like a few hours. My dad comes home and he's like, "I think we got to do it. I think we got to do it." And I was like, "Oh God!" And then we called the vet, and they're like. The only spot we have is within the next ten minutes. Oh, damn, so, dude! Dude, oh. it all just like oh, steamrolled, dude. She had to like speed on the way there to kill your fucking dog. Yeah, oh, Jesus God. Christ, that's so sad. It, I've done it, it was before. A huge bummer. It's on the table when you get to like talk to him for a little bit. Oh, yeah, needle. dude, it was. It was I cried, Sorry, man. Dude, I would cry right now. I cried. We lost we Maggie. It fucked me up, man. I was sad. I had to go down there, and I was just like, Jesus. I, thankfully, I've I've only really ever had one dog. We had Buckus when I was real young. Named after Dick Buckus. <laughs> <laughs> he was a great dog, according to my dad. Uh, but I was too young. So when he died, I remember it. He, like, shit in the house, and it was, like, diarrhea, and it was sad because he was, like... And it was so old, Kind of yeah. fun, and it was, like, fuck, we got, they got to kill him. Ugh. But I didn't care. I was a kid. Yeah. And then when my last dog died, Shaq, he died when I was <laughs> at college. So, like, I'd already been gone for, like, a year, and I knew he was old. So when they, they were, like, we're going to put him down, I was, like, all right. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Right. It's kind of a surreal moment, but I still wasn't like that affected. Yeah. Then my cat died. I get you. I that got you. me. For some reason, my cat, because the cat, yeah. like I had since I was in like eighth grade, and then it died. It died. And then I was a little like, I was with my college roommates, and I was like, I'm fine. And then I went for a walk around the block, and I cried. Oh, <laughs> and I was man. Like, Everything sucks. It's <laughs> like, I fucking love that cat. <laughs> Dude, it blows my mind how close you could be to something that can't even talk back to you. True this that. fucking dog it's though nuts. that my girlfriend has now, I fucking yeah, man. If the idea of him laying on a table is just it's the worst. Devastating. It sucks, dude. I think about yeah, my huge dog bummer. from my old marriage every now and again. The other night, oh. last weekend, I thought about it Friday, and I was like, looking at pictures on Instagram of it, and I just like cried silently next to Brittany. I was just like, <laughs> damn, dude. Caitlin, my girlfriend got really good uh, boyfriend insurance with that fucking dog. Oh, dude, mm. I cannot break up with her now. I mean, dude, we that dog is yeah. I mean, that's like and... that's basically a girl proposing. Yeah, it is. She's like, I got this puppy. Look <laughs> yeah. at this fucking dog. I'm like, yes. It, dude, I I'm do. telling you, man. It, it's uh, Me and Brittany were broken up, and she got Matilda. And, mm. you know, we live together now, so. It's, <laughs> it, listen, yeah. all our female listeners out there, if you want to lock it down, buy a fucking but dog. The risk yeah, is, the risk is. The risk is you get left in the dust, yeah. now you're stuck <laughs> with this dog that you resent. Yeah. But then again, you can always take it to the vet. 
you could always do what uh, Moonwalkers <laughs> yeah. did. And just the put your fucking dog away, down. Dude. The Moonwalker way is to kill your <laughs> right dog. Right when something big happens, like, I don't need you anymore. Well, no, no, no. You could, no, you can dog, do dude. is to um, uh, foster a dog and don't tell your boyfriend. You have a foster dog. That way, if he leaves, you can be like, all right, back to the shelter. Get the fuck out of back here. Back to the mm-hmm. kill shelter. Yeah. You sw- no, but this dog, like, <laughs> he's the best fucking dog. I know. I he's, know. he's a sleepy guy. So, like, he was, and he snuggles. Yeah. He sleeps, like, with you. And, like, last night, me and my girlfriend were watching the movie It. Mm. It was all right. The new Old one? one or new one, yeah. The new one. Wasn't kind it? of fucking sucked. Really? But what, Did they show the child orgy? No. That was in the book. It's not, I don't think There's it's There's a child as, orgy in the, the book? book? Yeah. I don't think it's as based on the book okay. as the previous one. But also, I, I forgot I watched it before. I saw it uh, in theater and I fell asleep. Because I hated it that much. Really? So then I was like, I'm pretty sure I liked this. We should rent this movie. And then like midway through it, I was like, oh, I, I, yeah, I fell asleep. Not I missed this whole part. It, it wasn't very scary, the movie. Yeah. I don't know. When I was little, it scared me. But anyway, there was a nice... The dog was... She always fucking cuddles with the dog mm-hmm. on the couch. And he falls asleep like with his head nestled yeah. into you, which is adorable. But yeah. whenever I'm home, I'm like, let me fucking... I do, you know, you get him every night. Give me so dog. we just pass him back and forth. like, And he's just, uh... he's just fucking <laughs> dead asleep. It's the best. Awesome. Sorry, man. you had to put your dog down. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all good, man. Hey, it happens. You, you got know? some good news, dude. So, how does that <laughs> process work? They basically yeah, my dad. My dad's compound stories are fucking. It's got to be. Plus, I think back I've told then, a bunch, too. but just like they were fucking savages. All they did was fight. Yeah. All they did was fight. Him and his his their dad was fucking nuts. I think I've told this. My grandpa, <laughs> no. my grandpa was fucking insane. We got in fist fights constantly. Really? Yeah. I think he had a heart attack. <laughs> I mean, it was... He That's was how all, due, a dude. lot of all great men go. He fought, like... I think to the point where people were like, he's crazy. Yeah. That's a crazy person that lives down, by, so the, down by the... Down by the creek, down by the Conor Gwinnett. <laughs> That's just a good boy down There's there raising cats. his boys, I, I know I told this. My That's grandpa, hilarious. My grandpa threw a fucking bag of cats into the creek. <laughs> and then dude. they hit the dam. And <sighs> it broke open. And he said, like, three cats crawled back. He was like, they can stay. He's literally... Yeah, the cats... That's literally... That happened. The cats at the compound were an issue. <laughs> Your fucking grandfather was the judge, dude. My, uh... They had a horse... I think I've said this. The horse, like, trampled on cats in their fucking barn. Oh, my God. My dad started the lawnmower once, and there was a cat in it. Oh. Like, just cats everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you're throwing them in the river. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, that was like... Hitting your kids and hitting your dogs became, like, pretty synonymously, like, no-go. In my lifetime. Yeah. Because when I grew up, dude, it yeah, was my like... Dad, my dad punched dogs in the head, know, dude. My dad, my dad punched my <laughs> sister's dog recently in the fucking head. Punched it in the head. It was... That's... Closed dude. fist, top of the dog head, punched. Dude, that's a... Uh, that now is a... What the fuck's it called? That's a non-expungible crime now. Cruelty to animals. So if you get caught like fucking kicking a dog real hard, that never comes off your record. You get you have to go to get jobs. And yeah. like, oh, what, what were you convicted of? And be like, I kicked, I a, kicked dog. a dog in '92. It's like it never comes off. Oh man! Unless you'd have to plea, you'd have to go to like your current like your court, a county, whatever, whoever charged you, and be like, for ten. You, I think you need like ten years of good behavior, and you can plea to get it removed. Like I haven't kicked a dog in ten I've, years. Please, I've shaken a couple, a couple <laughs> noogies, a fucking turtle. Like, <laughs> please. <laughs> But yeah, dude, I used to see dogs get their asses kicked. There was really? like a dog, yeah, one That's of my terrible. one of my cousin's house. If, That's if, terrible. This if one of my uncles came home and just saw the dog for some reason, the dog wasn't allowed in the kitchen. We'd be like sitting there fucking around. He'd be like, "God damn it, and dude!" <laughs> full on, just fucking like NFL kickoff, just like boom, boom, kick it, and the dog was like and scramble out. Oh man, just beating the fuck. It was daily, dude. Seeing a dog get hurt is really rough. When I was little, when you're li- it's funny though, but when you're like eight, you're just like, dog was in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, it's like I cry. Dog was in the kitchen. I get I hit even... all the time and I cry. I understand what that is. Yeah. But yeah, now. I was more so just looking like, fucking dog better not come in this kitchen again, bro. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, it. I, yeah. That's all in my head I thought at the time. Now I'd yeah. be like, dude, did you have to fucking kick the fuck? Dude, yeah. this was full on just like, I said, get this fuck. He, you know, but back then, you're an old man, dude. You come home, you're stressed, you see the dog, you go, oh, yeah. Yeah, you're the one. I'm giving this to you. You and my old... wife. Someone's that was it. That was the point of dogs for a long time. Yeah, the woman would buy a dog and be like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this punching bag. Oh, the dog chewed a sock. What, what about this, dude? <laughs> yeah. fuck, you. Oh, fuck you. You whore. And the lady's just like, yeah, I'm great. Yeah. Like, I know you emailed that fucking doctor. <laughs> <laughs> it's the golden retriever. 
<laughs> yeah, that's wonderful stuff. Yeah, they're just there to like clean up scraps in the kitchen and just absorb booted kicks. Just fucking like. Poof. Now that my girlfriend's, now that I have a dog, kind of. Yeah, I do. But it's like get a couple good ones in on it. No, it's like <laughs> now I'm like really like if I see an animal die or something, I'm yeah. like, ah oh, man, yeah, it'll bump you have me a up. lot more compassion about it's it true. and empathy. Like, yeah, I I love my do- I have two dogs, I love them, but I dude, it's like they got a yeah, line. You still you still a fucking rough I'll them sm- up I like a smack their butts, dude. If they're if they're bad, I I'll smack you their butts. Strangled that dog in front of me. Who? <laughs> no, yeah. oh, man, you grabbed Tony totally by her neck and she like. By the back oh, of her by neck. her scruff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why well, was just laying there? My d- dude, Jack's popped up. I love like... my fucking dog. And if somebody, if a dog heard it, I'd be in. My but, sister got in a fight at the dog park. Dude, I'm t- I'm ready to fight. Her a... dog. I was... walk in there like say something, ready to fight. Her I, dog I, was I don't fighting like, another you know? dog, and she jumped in and broke it. Up and was like in the dirt <laughs> with him, like breaking it up. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is fucking great. Yeah, if another dog, while I'm with. Finn at the dog park. Yeah. If another dog shows up, I'm like, I don't even feel like dealing with this. Really? It's not going to talk to this other person. Yeah. And be like, if they start fighting or whatever, it's just like, yeah. He has a friend, though. He has a dog that he loves. Okay. And they chill. Yeah. They got to hang out uh, yesterday. That's chill. That was nice. It's dude. It's, it, it's so funny when he sees it. The other dog's name is Bean. <laughs> and when he sees it, he gets so fucking... If you mention Bean, he's like... Yeah, he like starts looking outside. He's like, "Holy fuck, Bean's here!" They get stoked, dude. For the, yeah. they ha- they do develop buddies. Yeah, but his like, buddies Bean. Yeah, my dog right now has another small black dog. They're both little black dogs. Yeah, that's they another. They run yeah. around together. It's See, really funny. Well, that's the thing too, because it's like they're crips. <laughs> no, I mean, I can talk some more dogs. I can talk dogs all day, dude. So you, you got to you got to chill with Finn. Finn's he's a, he's, he's, a he's becoming a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a fucking dickhead though. I'll train him. Caitlin does not discipline him at all. <sighs> yeah, like. When he sees people, he's excited, so he jumps up at them. Yeah, and obviously people hate that. But he never—he doesn't do anything. Some bad. people do. It's he like, doesn't do anything bad. He's—he's—he yeah. he's, he looks a lot older than he is. He's less than a year. Yeah, but he looks old. So he jumps up on you. And people he are jumps like, like when I took him out, he—he he jumped up on this guy and he was like, "Oh, it's a puppy." Like I, then yeah, you can yeah. tell. Well, I don't he's... understand why people get so mad about that. When a dog jumps up on me, I'm always just like, "Fuck yeah, this is awesome." Well, they scratch you sometimes, and it's like, "Whose fucking dog is this?" Like. Yeah, I have a weird thing too, though. Like, if when it's my, an ugly dog, I'm like, get out of here. I love it. Yeah, when dogs like jump up on me, I'm, I'm like, yes. Yeah, dogs are great, but yeah, you do have a point of pride in you that you're like, dogs love me. True, they do too. <laughs> they like you just as much as they like anyone all else. Right, all right. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. But that is funny. We'll see. When I'm at when I'm at the park, sometimes like a random dog will come and like lean against me, and I just like look around, like, you guys see this? You guys want to check this out? <laughs> sure, you want to kick me out? <laughs> Oh my god! Good stuff. Oh man, that was fun. So I really liked it. I did no stand up while I was up there. You just, you just, like, you just, just went up there, stuff? established my shit. Yeah, I did the bonfire on Wednesday. That oh, was so pretty you did fun. a podcast? Yeah, I did. Well, I wouldn't call it a podcast. I'd call it Comedy Central Radio on Sirius Ooh, XM. Didn't know. Very nice. I wasn't slamming. Why don't you give me some fucking put respect on it? <laughs> uh, That's fucking tight. Though. No, Big Big J Ogerson was filming his Netflix special, so. They, they were, like, the board, they were like, yeah, we need a, we need a co-host. You hired the devil's double, dude. Here he comes. <laughs> Here comes big Shane Okerson. <laughs> and uh, no, it was so fun. I mean, me and Soder are pretty, like, we were pretty good. Yeah. Similar sense of humor. So we were allowed to just fuck around. Yeah. Like, it was basically like, yeah, it would exactly, be like you yeah. and me. You know the guy. Going on and just being like, oh, like talking well, shit. Well, it's weird when you first start doing podcasts and you're essentially doing podcasts with people you don't know at all. And it's like... That was always weird to me. Yeah, if you don't know anyone, it's it's tough to get a good like we were we yeah. were making fun of this dog that got eaten by a crocodile. Yeah, yeah. And it was the funniest thing I've ever yeah, that's awesome. ever seen. The and dog got eaten by a crocodile, too, right? Stephen. Yeah, went, is it live? Yeah. It was See, live. that's always fun as fuck too. Yeah. yeah. What's fun yeah, about yeah. that? What's fun about it? Yeah. Yeah, you're just fucking around. Juices, dude. You get it going. Hey, no, no, wait, wait. Uh, the, the video itself? Oh, oh. Come on. oh the, the do- explain the circumstances. What happened. All right, so it was a crocodile. It was in Australia, and this guy who owned, like, a restaurant or something that people would come watch him feed this crocodile that he named Casey. He would throw chicken off his deck, and the crocodile would come up and eat it. And then when the crocodile was supposedly full, he would send down his little terrier dog, this little Yorkie named Pippa. 
and it would run and bite the crocodile and chase it back into the water. Uh, and the crocodile is huge. Yeah. And there's a little dog like biting its tail and barking at it and it right. runs away. So it was like this fun trick that everybody loved. And this Australian dude would do it all the time, like daily for 10 years. 10 years this fucking Pippa was biting Casey the crocodile. Yeah. And then one day, old Casey <laughs> okay. had enough. But the audio, its it, you would think it's sad until you hear an Australian dude. It's like, oh, go get her, Pippa. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking funny. He's like, oh, funny. oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> the dog just goes straight into the water. It is pretty funny. And then funny. just the, it's it's just placid. The water, like Pip is just gone. Like it's literally an just instant. One little bubble pop. Where, yeah. where there's guys just stand on his deck with a bunch of people behind him. Like, oh, oh my god! Like, All right. Dude. I mean, imagine how what of an asshole you look like yeah, after you're, you're doing just this trick. And someone just comes out to watch an alligator <laughs> eat a dog. Oh. Like, I am so sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and navigating those emotions, your dog just got eaten. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, he, I, he again, it's his. He can't. He can't. I mean, you. Hate, of course, you're devastated, but you got to be like. You got to not love your dog. That's that my much, fault. Though, to train yeah, your dog to bite definitely, crocodiles. Definitely, yeah. Like if see that Finny sleeping over there on that bed. If anything happened to him, I'd be. Yeah, it, you wouldn't. You wouldn't devastated. Like, try I would to never. Train him to bite a crocodile. I would never. I was watching him go after those mouse traps yesterday. I yeah. was worried. He's breaking your heart. No, I didn't. Last thing I want is that dog to get hurt. Yeah. Yeah, that guy didn't love that dog. He didn't love that dog, dude. He didn't love Pippa. No, Pippa. Pippa was a fucking tool. Pippa, no. <laughs> so then I've just been saying that. Like any instant of something going wrong, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> Pippa, no. <laughs> oh. But yeah, it was fun. New York was fun. And, living- and it, to me, I'm like, this is insane. This is so much fun right now. Yes. Best is throwing them around in the pool. Oh, my dude. Through tossing kids around. I dude. love tossing it's a kid the in the pool. the best thing in the world. Dude. That's great. So it fun. is. You like I, it? Yeah, because I'd be going up every Sunday with my niece and nephew. Oh, I saw that video you posted. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> but with Jake now, he's he's a three, but he's very comfortable around me. So uh-huh. like when we're in the pool, he's like, I want to go under. So he so he let me be the first one to take him under. Oh, that's awesome! It was so cool. And then, uh, but now like I'm just throwing him. Yeah, you know, yeah. And just like yeah. he still does splashies, but he's poof. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's amazing watching how much fun they have with shit. Just, just like sitting somewhere and talking, they're like completely. When they go under their like babble, the five year old is talking to me. Yeah, and it was just like, uh huh, oh wow, cool, uh huh, dude. She's yeah. talking for like four. Her mom was just like, here, yeah, please take her. Yeah, forty five. Because that shit gets old. Nonstop. <laughs> that dribble, mom was dude. happy to oh, be yeah. like, all right. They were just they would look over every now and again and laugh and see her like. And I have it. She told me about her dog like fifty times. My dog is white and black. That's and like me great. with Finn, dude. Yeah, I keep yeah. looking over there and be like, look at him. Look at how it's cute that guy is. It's true for the listener. This the Finn brings Shane an enormous amount of joy. I, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's it's weird. I'm uh, It's not weird. It's great. I love I love animals. Yeah. It's your father got, reflexes, got, dude. They're kicking in right now. I'm it's like, like how a, if a duck's born and doesn't see an adult, it just or like an adult yeah, duck yeah, yeah. It latches, yeah. you're just imprinting on him. Yeah. Happens to me with my two dogs, dude. Yeah. I come nice. in and tuck them in at night, I'm like, Good night, guys. You're good boys. Yeah, that's a good dog. Yeah. <laughs> Trying real hard here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, I was watching Sopranos with Chris, and he always makes fun of me for being like Tony when it comes to like being a dickhead to everyone. But then like I see an animal, and I'm like, look at that guy. Yeah, I love, yeah, that. I love dogs, that dog. Dude. That's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I love that when the therapist keeps bringing up the ducks. He's like, talking about the Don't talk ducks. about my fucking ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! So, uh, dude, <laughs> while, that's what I was kind of getting to. So the movie's fucking silent. Like while yeah. you're in there, it's dead quiet. A lot of the scenes. Ooh. So like, if I like touched a wrapper or a drink or something, <laughs> I'd see my fucking girlfriend's head look over at me. I'm like, dude. I was like, you're worse than those fucking monsters. <laughs> that's hilarious. I was like, you're a fucking sound hawk. She's like, what? Oh Same. my god! Yes. Every night I sleep in bed, it's just, it's exact. If I go like this, crack my knuckle. I go, ah, yeah. can you not? The fucking dog sleeps in between us, and he literally extends his arms and pushes me as hard as he can all night. Literally all night, I'm just wrestling a fucking dog. This, like, 40-pound dog. I'm just, like, pushing it. So Eventually, funny. every night around, like, 4 a.m., I pick him up and throw him off the yeah, bed. Yeah, get the fuck off. But every single night I spend, every time I sleep there, I get pushed by that dog for three hours before I go to sleep. <laughs> And yeah, then they, I end up sleeping on the couch or they something. They extend their yeah, fucking... Yeah, he extends his arms. It's so funny. Dude, I... Like a 
I guess I gotta fucking take this dog back with me. You got a stray dog. Chilling Otis, with dude. your dog. Otis came out and started humping the fuck out of my dumbass dog, and I was like, "Yes." Dude, Which dog's great? Which dog doesn't have friends? Both of them. Jackson, my girlfriend makes fun of me. No, Matilda has friends. She's like, you, Jackson has no friends. I'm like, Jackson's got fucking friends at the dog park. She's like, name one. I'm like, I don't know their fucking names. The one, like, the, one he handicapped. Friends. I'm like, fuck you, That's dude. true. If, you, if it's not Facebook official, they're not Otis, real dude. Otis. I was like, yo, Jackson's got a friend. His name's Otis. Matilda doesn't even like him. It's no big deal. So that's what's up. Nice. You got a new new dog park friend? Well, it's not really. It's just a field behind my house. I've been. I've been. <laughs> it's the only banned? place I can bring. Yeah, I'm, I can't really go back there anymore. Though. <laughs> His dogs are fucking nuts. Last Although, time I went back there, dude, my dogs enter a dog park and it's just like the House of Pain video, dude. Every all the dogs, <laughs> are like, <"Yeah!" laughs> it goes fucking nuts. Did Finel Finel said that you were like, yeah, bring your dog out to the dog park. I, I want like, big dogs to fuck my dog up, so like to teach him some <laughs> fucking dog respect, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Riggins, Riggins and Zeus will body some dogs, will, dude. Riggins, Zeus is a Zeus, well, is, a, are Zeus is a wolf. Riggins is like just the thickest bull. Yeah, he's dude. A big, he's, big, he's big boy. like this yeah. fucking big. I went over there today to let them out. They're so happy. I need some dogs. They're so like, nice. they're good dogs. Fuck but they, dog when they play, dude, it's like. Oh yeah. shit, take it easy. Just, Riggins has to be like 150 pounds, dude. He's yeah, fucking man. huge. Jesus Christ. He's fat too now. He's got these big ass bitch hips. It's pretty great. Zeus has to be up there too, doesn't he? Zeus is they're probably like, Zeus is probably like 130. Yeah, you guys got yeah, a he's, good 260 yeah, pound he's dog a big going dog. over there. He's a he's a purebred German Shepherd, white German Shepherd. He yeah, looks he's bull. fucking crazy. One time he caught a bird when we were, it was great. We were uh, at the beach this summer with my family and we were on the pool. It was a nice time. Mm-hmm. Drinking, we we're like, yeah, this is it was the first time the whole trip that it was actually fun cuz it was just my family. Yeah. That sucks. You guys Oof. Are fighting. Just my yeah, fights the whole fucking time. Yeah. It's like, what do I want to fucking hang out with you guys? <laughs> the only time a beach trip is fun is if you go with friends or yeah. like cousins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just your immediate family. That yeah. kind of sucks. Yeah. Well, you have three brothers, so that'd be yeah. fun. But that'd be tight. I have two sisters and my fucking girlfriend there. It was ah, like, eh. man, dude, let's go on that bike ride and get saltwater <sighs> taffies. I'm like, I'm gonna stay in the house. I'm gonna sit in the air conditioning. This is retarded. Yeah, this is, fuck anyway, that. so we're all having fun in the pool. <laughs> And then this fucking bird swooped too low, flying mid-flight. This fucking German Shepherd jumps in the air and snatched a bird out of the air. Fuck. Nice. And killed it. And I just heard my mom like, ah! <laughs> I was in the pool like, what the fuck is going on? I look up, he's ripping a bird in half. Holy it's like, holy fuck. shit, Wait, what kind dude? of bird was it? Seagull? No. It was just a bird. I don't oh. know. Like a fucking Holy. sparrow. That would be funny as uh, big dogs. As no, seagulls, no, no. you ever see that? Fast, Dude, you too. ever see a dead seagull? Mm-hmm. They're fucking huge. Yeah, yeah. they are big. Killed a bird. <sighs> But it, here's one that fucked me up. This is a story that I'm um, just ripping from another podcast. This was on mm-hmm. Le- Legion of Skanks brought this up. Yeah. And the first time I heard it, I was driving, and this this affected me. I don't know if I told you this. You no. know the movie Milo and Otis? Mm-hmm. All right. So it was like my favorite movie as a little kid. It's about a pug puppy and a kitten. Sounds great. Yeah. And it's just a British voiceover a narrator and these this pug puppy – and a kitten are on this magical adventure. And it turns out... Did you just fart? No, I scratched the chair. Oh. <laughs> it, it turns out that... Like, there's one scene where they're both in a box going down a river. Uh-huh. And then there's one scene where the kitten's about to get attacked by a bear, and the pug chases it away. Sounds great. And this is all real animals. Yeah, like, yeah This isn't course. like a cartoon. I, th- I love those movies, dude. Air yeah, Bud. except... The news that I was told by Legion of Skanks podcast was that these animals were all expendable and they died. Wait. Like they had like 30 pug puppies. Stop. To dude. play Milo and Otis. No, how old is this movie? It's old. It's from like the 80s. How the fuck? Oh, okay. I guess they can And get I think it was that. made by the Japanese. No, dude. Yes, dude. So they were just like, I throw the dog at the bear. Bear and dog a fight. I was wondering, like, how the fuck did they get them? To so do they that? got a pug puppy to fight a bear, and as soon as it took mauled like it apart, thirty times for the for the bear to finally run away. But Holy it had to kill like thirty fuck. pug puppies. Holy fuck! And then they drowned a bunch of times in the box. Apparently, oh my god, that was like my favorite movie as a kid. When I heard that, that <laughs> fucking bothered me tremendously. It's fucking horrible. Yeah. Holy shit, man. But yeah, that's. We're not breaking news here on this story, but... I mean, to people who never heard that before, I you're just connecting yeah. the dots. Yeah, that was like... Fuck. Just think of those Japanese businessmen. 
That must have been funny with the director like sitting there with his hat and his chair. I'm like, oh, the fucking cut. <laughs> fucking another puppy drowns. Like, get him out. Oh, that's fucked up. How many? It was a puppy and a cat. Yeah. How the fuck do they keep that cat fucking the not cat from roaming off in the woods? Too. Fuck. I mean, they would just film him doing random shit. And then just put in a voiceover. And then a voiceover like, like, and Milo was like, what's this over here? <laughs> and it's just a cat looking at like a dandelion. But death looks everywhere. <laughs> and then they would die constantly. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was, that was rough news. I wonder how you. many Air Buds fucking died, dude. Golden I Receiver. Think, I hope, hopefully none. Golden Receiver. Dude, maybe maybe got hit in the face a couple of spirals a couple of, maybe they had a kid in there that was lacing it didn't one of them get in trouble for like they put like a dog in the water for one of those movies and like the dog was in like the rapids and they fished it out and they were trying to say that was like animal abuse um i mean might have been milo and otis no it was like a retriever looking dog maybe it was homeward bound they had some dog great dog action movie, going dude. there that was a great movie yeah damn that's fucked up man yeah it's really shitty yeah, didn't Chance get hit with a bunch of porcupine needles, quills? Oh, he did. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder that's, animal, movie, that's animal abuse. I wonder about the movie magic on that. There's probably another <laughs> Japanese dude. Just a porcupine, uh, <laughs> shoot a dog with the needles. That's a fucked up, dude. Yeah, dude. Spike anyway. him up. Anyway.